The RxG is designed to be the only device that you need to operate a revenue generating network. If you look at the slide here, what you'll see is that the RxG is on this network diagram and it's the only device that's between the distribution network, which is the switches and the wireless infrastructure, and the internet connection, which is shown at the top. What we've done is we've compressed everything that you need, starting with obviously L3 routing, and all the way up to the application layer billing and things like that. And we've compressed it all into a single device so that when you look at a typical RxG deployment, what you see is nothing in between this distribution network and the internet other than this one device, the RxG. That's it. Now, the way this works is that obviously we've spent a lot of time and many years in this market and we've compressed and come up with the list of things that we think that the vast majority of revenue generating networks needs. Now, obviously we're talking about billing things, you know, we're talking about things like firewalls, we're talking about traffic shaping, we're talking about routing. All the things that you would need and normally imagine that you would want in a revenue generating network are all built into the RxG, all compressed into a single device. Putting all of those things into a single device though is only the beginning of the story. If you were to go ahead and try to build a revenue generating network yourself, what you would find is that it's extremely difficult to make the various pieces work together. So let's say you acquire a traffic shaper from one vendor, and you go and you acquire a billing system from a different vendor, and then you acquire a security solution for a third vendor. Just those three things alone, most people would agree, are absolutely necessary in order to operate any reasonable network. But when you have those things from three different vendors, they don't talk to one another. In order to make them work together, you have to either program something or you have to actually just live with it, which is mo what most people do. Most people just live with it and le let it run as a set of disconnected devices. So, for example, let's say I wanted to charge a certain amount of money for somebody to use a network to have a certain bandwidth and a different amount of money to have to use a network for a different amount of bandwidth. That simple scenario is extremely difficult to do if you buy the billing system from one vendor and the traffic shaper from another vendor. Now, because that scenario is common enough, people have started thinking about, well, how do I make these things work together? But think about a more complex scenario, something which actually does come up very often, but no one considers trying to do something better. For example, let's say the security device is used to prevent or block BitTorrent on the network. Well, if you're going to prevent or, bit or block BitTorrent on the network, then you certainly can do that within the security device itself. But if the security device is sitting side by side from the traffic shaper, and that is also sitting side by side with the billing system, wouldn't it be interesting to be able to say, charge the end user more money if they're detected as having used BitTorrent? Well, in the RxG, that's possible and it's all built in. The reason for that is because in the RxG, everything shares the same database. The administrative graphical user interface, the end user portal, and the back end all share the same common database. So there's no longer the need for the operator to integrate these various pieces. Instead, what you can do is you can simply click and you can simply say, oh, well, if the IPS or the IDS mechanism or the DPI engine detects the use of BitTorrent, we can bring up a message on the captive portal that says, hey, you know, we see that you're doing this, and the captive portal is, of course, linked to the billing system, which can then be told that they need to be charged a certain amount of money to continue. And, of course, we can also set it up so that if they stop, they can continue to use their existing system and things like that. 